I, I don't know what you're looking at in your life today that doesn't look right, that doesn't line up with the Word of God, but I can tell you something about perspective. I can tell you something about perseverance. I can tell you something about persistence. Some of the greatest things that you'll see God do in your life will be because you went back and looked again. Some of the greatest things you'll see God do in your life will be things that you are about to walk away from. But you came back just one more time to say, no, wait a minute, let me look at this differently because I was about to give up on this marriage. But I think I see something that I didn't see last time, so let me get a different perspective. We always think that God's presence is provided to fix our problems, but what if God's presence is more about fixing your perspective so that you have a new way to see your problems? If I promised you today that God was going to fix all your problems the first time you went back and looked at them, I could make the church shout. We could have a good emotional experience, and we'd have 18,000 disappointed people when you go back home and everything you left looks just like it looked when you left it. If you didn't make up your bed this morning, it ain't made by angels when you get back home from church. If you didn't put anything in the crock pot before church, it's not going to be a feast when you get home. It's, it, it's faith, not sight. They're opposites. We always think that the opposite of faith is doubt. The opposite of faith scripturally is not doubt, it's sight. So the opposite of faith is not that I have questions sometimes. The opposite of faith is that I accept the surface answer to my question. The opposite of faith is that I don't look through it. Touch somebody and say, look again. Look again. Because sometimes you'll look at something in your life, and it'll seem like there's no way out. That's how Moses felt when he was standing at the Red Sea, and he wanted to know, what do I do about these chariots? And God spoke to Moses and said, it won't be the chariots that'll kill you. It'll be your complacency, because I can make a way through it if you look again. Now, as long as you're looking back at the chariots that are chasing you, you won't see the way that I've chosen to make in front of you. But if you'll look again, I believe you'll see water starting to split. I believe you'll see a sign that I'm with you to deliver you. I believe if you'll look again, you'll see something that was there all along. Look again. Touch somebody say, take another look. That's for every single person. That guy that broke up with you, I know he didn't see much in you, but he needs to look again because the next time he sees you, you're going to have such a confidence about who God made you to be that you know that you didn't need him to begin with. And what he did, all he did is make you take another look within yourself to see I am something. I am special. I am valuable. I do have something to offer. High five somebody say, look again. I know I don't look like much right now, but look again. I'm coming to the back. I'm coming to the very back of Blakeney to tell somebody who's been looking at something in your life that seemed hopeless, that God brought you here on this mountain and gave me this microphone to tell you, look again. Look again. Look again. Look again. Look again. 